All right, welcome back to SnowRunner, and today I have taken the sideboard bed off of the Fleet Star and put it on the White Western Star. Um, basically because I want to do the more fuel uh, contract or task, which is just taking fuel from the fuel station here and bringing it to the forester's house. Um, it's not really a very difficult, challenging travel if I am going to assess from our previous from our previous tours there, but we will see what's going to entail for that. Uh, let me first skip the time until morning and make it early so that we can all just see what's going to happen here. So, yeah, first of all, I'm going to go down to the fuel station. And it's actually also the first time that we're using the White Western Star that we acquired in our last episode and upgraded as well. She's quite drifty. <laughs> quite oversteery as far as I can feel now, currently. But she's got some wide tracks at the back, so I think that's going to really help us to get through some stuff. So here we are at the gas station. And then here would be the cargo management. Just going to back in here quickly. There. Cargo management fuel two times. Now let's see how this is going to end up. <laughs> how this is going to be for for the White Western Star. And of course, because this is the first drive with the White Western Star, not being towed or anything. I'm going to keep bringing us along for the whole ride. And yeah. Just bringing us along. So I hope your guy, you guys have had a fantastic week. I know mine was. Uh, lots of things that happened at work. Uh, lots of new experiences that happened at work. And I hope that you guys also keep innovating yourselves and keep having fun. My, uh, I had an interview last week. As an update for that, uh, it came back positive. So um, now they are going to go into my uh, historical behaviors, registered offenses list. Just things that are registered that happened in the past. Not too worried about it and didn't really do anything very really interesting at least not in any recent that they will be able to find of course i've i've been young i've had my time my fair share of uh missteps <laughs> when i was young um nothing really serious it's not like someone died or anything But yeah, then a medical examination will follow. 
And after the medical examination, um, there's one more step. Oh yeah, there's driving test, just to see how good you can adapt to to the job, you know, to the way of driving. And after that, it's a go. It's just going to be a green light. Um, we are at the farm. We're going in this road here and then over here. I want to go that way. And then we will just follow that road. But as far as I can see, that white western star here, it's doing its job perfectly. Even though it doesn't have uh, the differ differential lock. But it doesn't even look like it needs it. It doesn't even look like it needs it. It's just powering through everything. And it sounds so calm, like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Just as if it's not even not even trying, you know? It's like, alright, I'll do this with ease. Not even gonna struggle. But if I'm keeping my eye on that fuel gauge, that usage meter, <laughs> 10 point, 10 and a half liters per minute, yeah, that's... It's doing some tough work, I know that. But it's still doing it. With relative ease, you know. Relatively not struggling for grip. And I think that's the new tires that we unlocked. And I hope that soon we will unlock even more of those tires. Or even better tires. But I think that's going to take a while before before we get there before we actually get there but still it's even without differential lock it's still trotting along trundling through the mud as if it's just as if it's home like yeah, like as if it's home. Oh, I'm used to this. I've done this so many times before. I'm just going to get through this. See ya on the other side, you know? Kind of that kind of those kind of vibes is what I'm getting. It's a very capable truck for this job. I don't know what happened there with the wheel, but that didn't l really look normal. <laughs> we are getting to the house where we should be. Trailer discovered. Flatbed trailer with service spare parts, I think. There you go. More fuel. You needed fuel. There is fuel. Aren't we going to bring that trailer? Uh, I think I will. You connect. And pull. It's quite a heavy truck, so... Should be able to pull it like this. And drag it out. And... 
attach trailer. There we go. Now we will leave the cargo on there for as long as we can. It's really going to be a struggle and I'm just going to delete it. I mean, the service spare parts or... Is it service spare parts? I'm not quite sure what kind of... I think it's service spare parts-ish. If it's going to bog us down too much, then I'm just going to delete it because they're quite easy to get a hold of. Uh, curtain side trailer to Sherman Island. I don't think I have trucks to do that. I don't think you have the facilities for that, big man. <laughs> like that meme, like that meme says. Mm, low gear. And just pull. Actually, where am I going? Um, if I follow this, then I'm going to reach the curtain side trailer. You know what? I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to try it. You never know what what will happen. Who knows? I'll just bring it there. Who knows? That's the curtain side trailer. So this trailer will be dropped over here. Detach. And there we go to the next one. And attach trailer. I'm sticking to the wall because that's the most solid ground you're going to find here. Um, let's see, go down here. And follow the road here, or the mud. And then get to the rocks. And then struggle along to the other side. Just follow the rocks. Just gonna keep it in low because otherwise I'm just going to be slipping. Too much. This way I get more control over where to plate where I'm placing my truck. All-wheel drive doesn't really feel like it's making a difference. But I am going to leave it on. For this part here. And pull. Oh. 
And there we are. Also fixed. All right, let's go back to the other trailer. Uh, what happens if we go continue on? I am going to grab this trailer and try to drag it across here as well. Can I? Should be able to. Should be able to, yeah. Bang. And there you break your engine. Because you're an idiot. And you forgot that there's an... There's a ditch over there. Yes, that was with a D, not with a B. Even though it is both. The ditch is a... You get the point. Of course, smack your engine again against the tree. Come on, get going. Again, do it again. Do it one more time. Oh, you don't do it? What, you, you found out that you don't like it? Alright. Let's get going. Alright, crossing this time I will just cut it out because we did it before. We just did it. Unless something really interesting happened. Like the trailer floating away, <laughs> then I'll bring you guys back. Of course, the fun stuff should not be wasted on you. Really don't like this. These trailers, they they always bog you down so much. It's like they have an extra weight to it. Really? Really? Nothing? Really nothing? And what happens? If I do this... Drag myself out. There, patch again. And there we go. Now don't get stuck on a tree stump. I, I was just saying that. Come on, man. Don't get stuck on a tree stump. All right, I made it to Sherman Island and I still have all the goods on top of there. And I plan on bringing it all the way to the other side. This side does look like it's less runny, but you never know. This game is always full of surprises. The water looks calm, but then it's, it's not. 
you know. And this is quite a challenging trek for a truck like this because the snorkel is not too high up. Like that red cover on top there, it's that that's literally where your intake is, so the water gets up there then your engine is going to be hurting. Pulling myself up along the riverside. In a detached trailer, I will bring you in a little bit. Of course, break your engine again. Poor, poor thing. It's three mill boxes gone already. Doing a great job at it. Show task. Tools delivery. What do you want? Uh, you want it delivered to the warehouse. Curtain side trailer. All right, let's knock it out. I will come back for that trailer later, since we're at a easy spot currently. You. And you. Easy to get, easy to reach. Easy to get out of. Attached trailer. I can drag that one along as well, but... You know... No, I'm not going to. I prefer to just keep struggling with only one trailer at a time. Also, the fuel is almost gone, so I need to get to the asphalt as soon as possible.
does it for today. <laughs> um, yeah, we are uh, out of fuel. In the woods. Middle of the woods. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. Uh, the next episode we are going to rescue the white western star and well, not, it's not really a rescue mission is it it's just going to recover uh going to bring it back actually fill it up bring it home let's go so from me in the cap sleeping <laughs> oh my character it's sleeping <laughs> why i don't know don't ask me but yeah it's funny i hope you guys will have a fantastic weekend and also a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!